Just like other industries, uh, construction comes with its own set of hazards. Without the prior construction safety equipment, the lives of construction workers get put at risk. Having safety protocols is a must for construction companies. Companies, Here are some construction safety equipments and tools that we can consider and use such as fire protection, safety netting and debris capture, safety cone, and safe access equipment. The most apparent difference against fire in construction sites besides planning, uh, preparation, and prevention is construction firefighting equipment. Firefighting equipment may vary depending on the age, size, use, and type of building construction in residential, commercial, and industrial premises. A building construction site may contain some or all of the following firefighting equipment like fire, fire extinguisher, smoke alarm, and fire sprinklers, fire door, and fire exit. Fire extinguishers are required by law for every business to have, so everyone should be able to find one. On the other hand, a single fire extinguisher does not operate for all forms of war. A fire for forms of fire. Numerous fire extinguishers may be found in the same way that there are different forms of fire. And sure, you have the correct extinguisher for your building's possible fire threats uh, so that you can secure your war workplace's basic safety. To begin with, it is useful to understand the fundamentals of fire. The following are brief descriptions of the five basic types of fire. Please take note of the color of the fire extinguisher and the shape as per respective class. Class A, it is color green and marked with a triangle shape. This class is used to extinguish fire caused by combustible solids such as wood, paper that are easily ignited. Class B, uh, um, for combustible liquids and gases like oil, grease, paint, gasoline. Class C, for fires that include an energized electrical source as the igniter. These are classified as class C. Once the source is removed, the fire is no longer classified as a class C fire. Class D, uh, for a fire caused by metal. Titanium, zirconium, magnesium, sodium, uh, lithium, and etc. Class K, um, fires which are caused by animal fats, vegetable oils, are fats which uh, which are used in cooking however uh, no matter what kind of fire it is the following four ingredients will always be present the ingredients for fire extinguishers which are present we have fuel heat oxygen and we also have chain reaction chain reaction these four components of fire extinguisher are supposed to put out a fire. So, portable fire extinguishers were invented. Classifying fires based on these three factors, uh, four factors, makes it necessary to have specialized extinguishers for each type of fire. For example, class A fires can be safely doused with water, but class C fires can't uh, because water would carry the electrical current and pose a risk to op operators. Uh, this one is a fire cabinet, a fire hose cabinet. Fire hose cabinet is still still box mounted for gathering fire equipment such as fire hose. Uh, we also have extinguisher and. Um, a fire axe for on-site convenient usage and also protects the fire equipment from dirt and damage. 
Um, that's the fire hose cabinet. Inside a fire hose cabinet, again, we have the fire extinguisher, the 100 feet fire hose, the fire hose rack, nipple, angle hose, fog nozzle, the fire axe. Rated fire hose cabinet are installed within, of course, corridors or near the exit somewhere which is easy to access. And fire hose cabinet are required to be installed with at least 0 0.9 meters height from floor to the center of the fire hose reel. Next. We have the construction construction net or the safety netting. Uh, construction net is a kind of safety net uh, to protect people from harm from falling from heights. It limits the height of all uh, fall and thereby dissipates the impact energy. It also protects the people below the net by stopping the fall of falling objects, tools, or debris. Construction safety nets are flexible plastic nets made from HDPE or high density polyethylene raw materials. Uh, construction safety netting system is also known as debris netting, which can be installed both horizontally or vertically according to the requirements. Safety nets and soft landing systems can be used as leading edge protection to mitigate the, the consequences and distance where fall could, should, or could occur. They are not a substitute for the use of fall prevention measures but can be used in conjunction with um, if the risk of a fall cannot be eliminated. However, safety nets shall be provided when workplaces are more than 25 feet above the ground or water surface or other surface, other surfaces where the use of ladders, scaffolds, scotch platforms, temporary floors, safety lines, or safety belts is impractical. During construction and renovation projects, falling items such as we have bricks, for example, or concrete blocks and drop tools have the potential to seriously injure pedestrians or cause damage to nearby property and passing vehicles. For the debris catcher or debris netting, debris netting is designed to catch falling objects and the mesh size used in each project is based on the type of material required for the debris containment. Safety cone. You can use uh, safety cones to provide a brief reminder to pedestrians or say motorists to proceed with extra caution, especially on the road and construction sites. The sight, the sight of a safety cone is a visual warning for people to avoid possible dangers. We usually see them in traffic, parking, ha parking, um, hazards, and indoor cautions. Here, uh, this image shows a typical detail of safety cone used in DPWH as their, as their guide or standard. The safety cone is made of PVC with UV, UV inhibitors and the one piece design means no no seems to split or tear. Safe access includes safe ladder and bridge access tools. We have here the safe ladder tools. Ladders cause some of the most accidents among construction workers. This is often due to incorrect ladder usage. Or damaged ladder. Before workers use a ladder, they should always inspect it, checking for grease, dirt, broken rails, and damaged trunks can prevent tragic slip and falls. If a ladder is found to be defective, 
it should always be properly marked. Metal, uh, metal ladders should also not be used around any electrical work area. Uh, there is a lot you can do to increase your safety when working from step ladders. Handrails make uh, for more comfortable climbing and offer extra support and fall protection when you work. Um, handrails, uh, stabilizers, um, stabilizers and support legs increase side stability of the ladder. And when you work safely, you can focus, of course, better on your job and it, it can get it done more efficiently. Additional safety for ladders include support legs, standing ladders, handrail, and we have the tool holder. Ladders are not just ladders, they are safety equipment too. Here are some different kind of kinds of ladders which helps us give access to a workplace where we need to elevate. Uh, one, we have the mobile ladder stands and mobile ladder platforms. People in the workplace commonly call mobile ladder stands and, and ladder platforms as rolling staircases. Uh, at the left, we have the mobile ladder stand. Then next one, we have the mobile ladder platform because of the platform there. Next, we have the mobile ladder platform with lift. Safe access also includes, again, safe ladder tools. Our next type is step platform and trestle ladders. We have the self-supporting, portable, but not adjustable in lengths. Step ladders have flat steps and a hinged back platform. Um, a platform at the highest standing level. We have also the trestle ladders. We have two sections that are hinged at the top to form equal angles with the base. This allows two workers to climb the ladder at the same time, but one per side. When climbing up and down a sliding fixed extension or single ladder, number one, you should face the ladder. Do not have items in either hands. Three, use both hands to climb up or down and maintain three point contact what i mean is uh, three limb contact say two hands and one foot or say one hand and two feet in contact with the ladder four avoid placing loads on the shoulder as this can affect balance consider other measures to deliver loads to the working height five have the worker take their time when climbing up and down. Uh, the speed of climbing up and down can affect balance and lead to ladder movement at the base of the ladder. So, you must be careful and take your time. Next, we have a step stools. These are self-supporting, also portable. Others are fixed. And this one is foldable. Um, these uh, step ladders or step stools are not adjustable in length. They have flat steps but no pale shelf. A ladder top cap that the worker can stand on is called a step stool. Next, we have the uh, bridge for the bridge access. This too is called bridge walker. For bridge worker, bridge workers often get injured or killed by falling off a higher bridge level and onto a lower area. This mostly occurs when workers don't use the correct equipment to reach certain areas of the bridge. Many workers utilize makeshift ways to access areas, but that is not safe. They retrofit equipment, um, bridge workers retro retrofit equipment designed for other purposes or come up with temporary solutions to get 
to those areas if your firm does any work on uh, work on bridges it should always provide workers with equipment specifically designed for it equipment like bridge work bridge walkers like this one hydra platforms biut's or bridge inspection unit trucks and backstone mitchells Michelle snoopers can allow workers to safely access all sections of a bridge. For example, these two bridge walkers allow workers to be lowered 20 feet under a bridge, while a hydro platform can place workers 35 feet under a bridge. Um, example of hydro platform is this one and the right one. Hydra platform is a truck mounted under bridge access and work platform which features an extended flat platform length. The self-erecting, self-propelled platform is ideal for bridge maintenance, repair, and inspection operations. If you have applications that require safely positioning of workers and materials under and around bridges and elevated structures, using a hydra platform is an efficient and safe solution. Next, we have a bridge inspection unit truck or BIUT. It is designed to reach farther than most bridge machines. With a vertical down reach of 68 feet, a horizontal reach of 62 feet, and a vertical reach of 51 feet, there aren't many places that are too far for the, for the bridge inspection unit truck. The basket sits on a 13-foot telescoping boom and automat automatically levels, ensuring you won't be left hanging. Next, we have the Paxton Mitchell Snoopers, which provides safe access to even the most hard-to-reach areas of the large bridges. Again, these are all considered construction safety equipment and tools. Safety equipment help employers reduce injuries and workers to avoid getting injured at work. Using safe equipment at work, help prevent health hazards and accidents. This actively reduces accidents. It improves the health of your employees and makes for a safer, secure work environment. Again, we have the fire protection, the safety netting, and the brigature, safety cone. And last but not the least, we talked about the safe access for ladders and bridges.